Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And today we're going to be having a look over Hone.gg. We're going to be looking at optimizations and is it really worth to get the subscription? We're going to be testing it on multiple games like Fortnite, Valorant and other mainstream games like CS2. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, firstly, I'll come to home.gg and download Hone on my PC. The home page of Hone looks like this if you get the premium membership and the first thing that I would highly recommend you guys to do is to create a backup. Select it and let it load. Click on create a new backup and then you're gonna have to name it Hone Backup just so you can, you know, remember it. Let it do the job in the background. It's always good to create a restore point of your system just in case you want to revert anything back again. Once that is done, click on finish backup and now that you have your backup point already created, it should be visible right over here along with the date. Now, head over to the optimizations tab. And now you guys can see basic optimization, general optimization, advanced and saved tab over here. I'm going to be starting with the basic optimization where I'm going to be enabling optimize background browser. Just click on I understand and then you're going to have to click on understand over here. Next is a disable browser hardware acceleration. This is also a really useful tool. However, it could lead to performance issues on your PC. So you can simply just turn this thing off if you are getting any kind of issues with your browser. Next is a disable ease of access setting. Most of the time you do not use sticky keys, filter keys or anything like that. Simply activate this one. It saves a ton of system processing. Next over here is disable OneDrive. This is a very useful setting. Most of you guys might have installed OneDrive on your PC or it comes like a bloatware on your PC. So just simply disable that and it will get rid of your OneDrive once and for all. Now once all of that is done, you guys can head over to the general tab. And let's start with the first one that is optimize windows power plan you want to have to turn this thing on and over here it tells you this allows you to optimize the power plan on your system if you hover on the i button it shows you the description of the setting next is disable transparency it helps you to disable unwanted animations next is general windows optimization it includes system optimization tweaks settings and adjustment to improve system performance responsiveness and stability just turn this thing on along with the windows timer resolution now if you guys have been following my channel for a long time you might know what timer resolution is you're gonna have to turn this thing on and it sets your mouse polling rate to 0.5 millisecond which is by default somewhere around 10 to 15. Next is disable windows power throttling. This is again a very useful feature. You might want to have to turn this thing on. However, if you are on a laptop, be aware of it that it will increase heating issues. Next is disable windows game bar. I would highly recommend you guys to turn this thing on because game bar is a overlay service like steam overlays. And as you guys know, overlays drastically impacts your FPS and turning this thing off from here would completely eliminate game bar from your PC. Next is disable hibernation. You want to have to turn this thing on click on i understand and here's a description of why you want to have to turn this thing on next is optimize mouse you're going to have to activate that along with optimize a network congestion provider now you guys can enable home gaming mode this helps you to optimize your system's resources for gaming by prioritizing your game windows next is gaming optimization which is specifically designed to enhance gaming performance on your system it includes a collection of optimizations such as graphic settings adjustments system tweaks and, and performance enhancements to maximize the gaming experience simply turn this on along with the IO operations which are basically input and output operations which will help you to reduce unwanted input latency. Next you're gonna have to come down and disable power saving features on your PC and this will help you to fix all kind of packet loss, ping issues and other relative issues by turning off power saving features on them. Next is optimize net sh network settings helps you to run a few commands on your PC and uh, this helps you to improve the performance as well. You're gonna have to enable optimize memory management and over here it allows you to optimize memory management settings on your system it includes adjustments for virtual memory page file configuration and other memory allocation thing i would highly recommend you guys to disable windows update and store telemetry over here but i would not suggest you guys to do that because windows updates are really really important if you are especially on windows 11 they keep on bringing new bug fixes and it's also beneficial if you're trying to play your games keep your windows up to date next is optimized device affinities you're gonna have to turn this thing on over here as well along with optimized windows explorer you're gonna have to turn this on as well this includes various tweaks and settings adjustment to improve the file speed and customize the explorer interface you're gonna have to come down and then you're gonna have to enable general privacy optimization
optimizations over here it helps you to turn off all of the settings which are related to your privacy because most of the times they are consuming resources in the background then you wanna have to disable windows services over here which helps you to disable unnecessary windows services which are reducing systems resources by potentially using them also optimize the network adapter settings this helps you to put on the best settings for your network adapter to make sure that you're always getting the best ping lowest packet loss and other network settings then you wanna have to disable mitigations over here click on i understand now mitigations are security measures implemented in operating system to protect against viruses and attacks however in some cases these mitigations might impact system performance so you're gonna have to turn this thing off optimize drives as it says you're gonna have to turn it on then scroll a bit down and then you're gonna have to disable super fetch this is a service which uses drastic amount of your cpu resources while you're playing the game simply turn this thing off by clicking on the activate button over here and that should be it then you have some gpu related optimizations over here but i would highly recommend you guys to do these optimizations from the gpu panel it's always advised to do that because any of the settings done there can be easily reverted back next you want to have to disable my people home group and other touch settings xbox if you do not use that these services are absolutely useless yet they run in the background and consume your cpu resources simply turn all of them off because you probably don't even use them also disable windows insider because this is a program that allows pre-test versions of windows and you don't want that you only want stable releases so just simply turn this thing off if you guys do not use any printer services disable fax and print and this will help you to improve your system's performance as well and at last you always have the browser telemetries you have to disable chrome microsoft edge nvidia firefox all of the telemetries that you guys can see over here ms office visual studio any of them that you use simply turn this thing off along with remove windows settings ad simply deactivate all of them and in the latest update hone has added show pc boot information optimize drives disable windows driver update disable depleted network features optimize udp network offloading and updated general windows optimizations to optimize your games other than that they have also added the enhanced nvidia privacy along with new additions in the windows timer resolution and some more new settings like like deep load network adapter, disable NVIDIA downclocking, disable Windows automatic updates, flip integrity fix, enable network checksum offloading, and disable sleep study. All of these features help you enhance your system's performance even better. Head over to the advanced tab. Over here, you'll find very important settings, but most of them impact your windows drastically. So you have to know what you're doing. Click on optimize raw mouse input engine. Simply turn this thing on. And the second thing that you have to turn on over here is disable full screen optimization. Just simply enable these two settings and leave everything as it is. Now you can head over to the boost up tab and you guys can find a ton of utilities over here which includes optimize and defrag drives, install whole and video drivers, junk cleaner and other things over here. Firstly, I would run a scan and fix system error, click on boost performance and then click on boost performance once again. This will run SFC and DISM commands on your PC and it is very beneficial to do it every now and then. It will find corrupted partitions on your PC and it will automatically fix them. Let it run in the background, you can minimize it. Once that is done, you guys can see task completed and then you can click on finish boosting. It has a ton of important features like junk cleaner, simply select it and then you wanna have to click on boost performance. Click on boost performance over here and then it will run a complete system scan. You can press Y and this will run an advanced scan on the next restart and you can press N to skip it for now. I'll simply press N over here and then it will just run the junk cleaner and it will show you the overall process. It shows that the cleaning is complete, press enter and that's done. It's that simple. These are the two things that I would recommend you guys to do it for now. You can also do a scan and fix drive errors. It helps you to run the check disk utility and it tells you where is the error on your drive. Along with that, Hone also has the games library where you guys can find games that you have installed on your PC. Simply select any game like Fortnite over here and then you guys can click on best performance. It includes 22 optimizations which are actually important for the games. Alongside that, you can also import any of the settings that the pros use on their computers to replicate their settings onto your PC. For now, I'm just going to be selecting best performance over here and click on activate optimizations. Simply click on that and it will apply all of the optimizations for Fortnite. Once that's done, simply click on close and now you guys can see that it is currently applied. Now, what you guys can do is simply 
drop into the game and check if that adds any performance improvements. Alongside that, Hone also added the Hone AI over here where you guys can ask anything related to your computer and if you guys want to apply any optimizations or any problems that you're facing, you can simply ask their AI. And you also have to note that Hone AI may produce inaccurate information as it is currently in the testing phase. Go ahead, talk to it if you have any queries and head over to the settings gear and then you're gonna have to turn off the auto launch Hone on startup because Hone is also a service which runs in the background which consumes the system resources. So once you're done applying all of these settings you want to have to turn this thing off and then you guys can go over to the hidden icons and then simply close hone from here now you guys can drop into the game and see if that adds any performance improvements while playing fortnite without using hone i was getting about 175 fps and when i started using it i was getting almost 280 fps in valorant before using hone i was getting 390 fps but after using hone i got more than 400 fps it's about 420 while playing cyberpunk i was getting about 100 fps FPS and with using Hone, I was getting about 115 FPS. That's absolutely insane. As you guys can see, we have seen significant improvements and Hone actually claims on their website that you can get up to 37% performance boost on Fortnite and up to 57% performance boost on Valorant. However, these results may vary from your PC. So I would recommend you guys to go to Hone.gg and download it for yourself, apply these settings and see if that helps you. If it does, you can get the premium membership. It's definitely worth it. So once again, guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button because you're really close to 250,000 subscribers. I'll keep on bringing more useful guides like this. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.